Also for Enoka Champon, God bless you, sir. Sister Charity, God bless you. Papa, did you see what where you read? Thou, oh Lord, I, I call something divine lifting. Then when I came in, the Lord spoke to me, divine lifting. Papa, if you read Genesis chapter 41, only yesterday Joseph was in the prison. And if you read verse 37, look at verse 37. The Lord lifted her. Huh? Mm -hmm. And in the eyes of all his servants, mm -hmm. should I continue? Continue. And Pharaoh said unto his servants, mm -hmm. Can we find such a one mm -hmm. as this? Mm -hmm. It's a man in whom the Spirit of God is. Mm -hmm. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, mm -hmm. For as much as God has showed thee all this, mm -hmm. there is none so discreet mm -hmm. and wise as thou art. Continue. Thou shalt be over my house. Hey. And according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Hey. Papa, did you hear that? Only yesterday, Joseph was a prisoner. He was a condemned prisoner in a dungeon. Mm -hmm. But he became the second in command. Mm -hmm. That's why we call it divine lifting. Mm -hmm. He said, even I, Pharaoh, I am under you. Apart from my throne, I am under you. What a God we save. I'm praying for somebody. Amen. Wherever you are today, it's not your position. My God will lift you to a realms of no limit. Amen. As the Lord lifted Joseph, mm. God will lift you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord that lifts Daniel. Papa, look at Daniel chapter 6. Look at verse 1 to 3. Mm. Daniel chapter 6 from verse 1, I read, he said, mm. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom mm -hmm. 120 princes mm -hmm. who should be over the whole kingdom. Mm -hmm. Verse 2, and over these three presidents, mm -hmm. of whom Daniel was first, yes. that the princes might give account unto them, mm -hmm. and the king should have no damage. Mm -hmm. That is, Daniel was prepared above the presidents and princes, because an excellent spirit was in him. Papa, did you hear that? And this Daniel was preferred, and this Daniel was preferred above all. Mm -hmm. I'm praying for somebody. If you can hear me, if you can believe it, all things are possible. Amen. I decree by the spirit of prophecy. Amen. I decree by the spirit of I am. Yes, sir. I decree by the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Amen. May the Lord lift you from where you are into yes. the next higher level of your life. Mm. May divine lifting happen over your life in the name of Jesus. Begin to open your mouth and worship him and thank him. Holy Ghost, we thank you. Holy Ghost, we worship you. Holy Ghost, we love you. Holy Ghost, we bless you. All of you over there, share it. Over there, share it. Katala babarika shidea. Mala babarika tigetea. Apaka tukutule babarika shidea. La babarika shidea. Katala babarika shidea. Katala babarika shidea. Le babarika shidea. Le babarika tia. Hey! Mamma la babare kashidea Kata le babare kashia Lady Rachel say you are there Lady Jimama you are there Lady Rachel say God bless you 
Somebody worship the Lord wherever you are. On the Facebook, on the YouTube, worship the Lord. Etala babari gatia, katala babari kajiria, le babari gatia. Thou, O oh Lord, you are the lifter of my head. Thou, O oh Lord, you are the lifter of my head. The Lord lift my head. May the Lord lift your head. May the Lord lift your head. May the Lord lift you. In the name of Jesus. Maka tukoto le babari gatia, ka ye mazigi de le babari gatia. Maka tukoto le babari gatia. Somebody worship him. Let me reach yourself watching the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord spoke to me that divine lifting is coming to you. All of you listen to me, hot online, digital. This is Apostle Joe's. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord empower you. May the Lord lift you. May the Lord grant you your heart desire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. DJ Van Dyke, Apostle Joe's, I greet you in the name of Jesus. All my partners, all my friends on hot online, digital. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord elevate you. May the Lord lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God bless you. All of you listen to me from US, Zeno Radio, may the Lord bless you. All of you listen to me from Hot Online Digital, GhanaWeb.com, Modern Ghana Radio, may the Lord bless you all in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Danny Hall, God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I don't know the platform you are listening to me from, but all of you listen to me from the YouTube as well. God bless you in Jesus' name. Deliverance Radio, God bless you. Hallelujah. I don't know the, the platform you are listening to me from, but there is something going to happen to you that will change your life forever. It will change your life forever. Because this teaching, I started... Papa, uh, Papa, are you there? Life, Papa. Uh-huh. I started a teaching yesterday night, and we started praying about it. And uh, we, we, we want to continue on this platform. Hallelujah. And it's a very deep teaching that I, I want you to hear me all of you on uh, facebook please share it for me share it for me and all of you on um the youtube subscribe it subscribe it and all of you listen to me from hot online digital or uh, all the radios modern Ghana radio every 
Monday between 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock London time, I come to this platform and preach. And, uh, and on Thursday, too, my pastors will come from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock and preach. And every night, we pray on Facebook, YouTube from 11 o'clock London time all the way to um, 1, 1, 1 a.m. London time. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Then when I sat here, the Lord spoke to me expressly that somebody, you are listening here, God is going to release you into certain grace in Jesus' mighty name. I, 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 I don't want to waste time at all. I want us to enter into the word of God. Papa, if you look at the topic today, we are treating a topic called understanding the mysteries of witchcraft devices and how to destroy it. Understanding the mysteries. Understanding the mysteries. Ahintasam. The word understanding the mysteries means ahintasam. Ahintasam. Life is full of mysteries. In fact, if you read Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, Papa, look at Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. I read. Mm. He said, mm. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, mm -hmm. I will also reject thee. Mm -hmm. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Mm -hmm. See, thou hast forgotten the law mm -hmm. of thy God. I will mm -hmm. also forget thy children. Now, the Bible from the scripture Papa Mu just read. God is making us to understand that a lot of born-again Christians are being destroyed not because he don't have power. Because of ignorance. What sort of ignorance? The ignorance is not about him. The ignorance is about the enemy. Mama Teresa, God bless you. Because, Papa, if you don't know the strength of your enemy, and you know your own strength. Mm -hmm. Excuse of my, my word. I'm not a politician. But what makes a great country, Russia, not to, dis not to overcome a tiny country, Ukraine? Mm -hmm. Because they underestimate the strength of their enemy. Mm -hmm. And according to statistics, they say they have lost over 32,000 soldiers. Mm -hmm. Waste their life. The battle they thought that they could win it within three days. Mm -hmm. It has taken them more than 100 days. Mm -hmm. see, see, the moment you don't study your enemies, you underestimate your enemies. Mm -hmm. If you look at the New Testament, Jesus took time to teach us about the enemy. Mm -hmm. More than the kingdom, more than his own. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of God is like a man who saw a good seed. But when the man slept, the enemy came and saw test. He's telling us the enemy. Jesus was walking. A woman had issue of blood, bleeding for 12 years. Jesus was walking. He got to a gate and a woman's uh, 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 son has died. Why, Papa? Oh, everything Jesus is showing us, the enemy. In the book of Daniel, look at Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. I read it. Hmm. Daniel chapter 11, verse hmm. 32. Mm -hmm. He said, and such as do wickedly against the covenant mm -hmm. shall be corrupt by flattery. Yes. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Now, the people, but the the one I want to stand on is that, but the people that do know their God shall be strong. The people that do know, the word knowing means understand the modus of operandi, how God work, how God do things. Do you know God? Yes, I know God. Do you know how he works? When Moses was going to Egypt, God understand the battles. So he said, Moses, you are not going there alone. Take this stick. By this stick, I will do wonder. Are you listening to me? God, our father, has not lost a single battle. But why are we losing battle? Papa, go to Isaiah chapter 5. Let's read verse 13. Please, follow me. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity mm -hmm. because they have no knowledge. Uh -huh. And their honorable men are perished. Mm -hmm. And their multitude dried up with 
test. Yes. Verse 14. Therefore, hell has enlarged itself. Ah. Looking at a man without measure. Ah. And their glory and their multitude and their boom. And he that rejoices shall descend into this. Papa, did you hear that? Therefore, my own people discover here. I the prophet also discover <laughs> the same thing Hosea saw Eli, uh, whatever Isaiah also have seen the same thing. And Isaiah said, A lot of people, a lot of when the Bible says my people, he's talking about born again until we God bless you. He said, a lot of my people are in bondage to the enemy. Not because I don't have power. Not because they don't pray. Not because they don't fast. But because they are operating without knowledge. So many people are not living their destiny. Because certain things are holding them. That's what we are talking. And Papa... One of the areas Satan is using in our days is what we call witchcraft devices. Mm -hmm. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. In Isaiah 49, verse 24, the Lord is asking us a question. It's a question. Isaiah 49, 24. Mm. He said, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Uh -huh. Papa, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Shall the prey be taken away from the mighty? Or a lawful captive be delivered? It's a question mark. So mm -hmm. the question is that, when did you become a prey to the enemy? No. Why have you become a prey to the enemy? Mm -hmm. We are walking on the surface of this earth. Mm -hmm. You are born again, you pray. Mm -hmm. But why did you become a prey to the enemy? In the book of Kaliba Barika Shidea, Kataleba Barika, in the book of Esther chapter 3, no, Esther chapter 3, verse 7, yes, Esther 3, verse 7, yes, he said, hmm. in the first month, hmm. that is the mint Nizan, yes, in the 12th year of King Azurus, yes, the cast war, uh -huh. that is the Lord, yes, before man, before heaven, from day to day, hmm. and from men to men, yes. Yes. Papa, did you hear that? Now, here, the Bible didn't tell us the mystery. In the first month, in the first month, the, a man called Haman sat on an evil altar for them to use certain things. But Papa, when you get to Esther chapter 8 verse 3, the word that they used was a device. I read. Mm -hmm. And Esther spake yet again before the king, uh -huh. and fell down at his feet, uh -huh. and besought him with tears uh -huh. to put away the mischief of Haman, uh -huh. the Agagite, uh -huh. and this device that he had devised against the Jews. Papa, did you hear that? Now, in chapter 3, verse 7, we saw that Haman went to the witch doctor. Mm -hmm. But in chapter 8, verse 3, we saw that he used a device of witchcraft. So Esther said, Oh, King, it is true. You have killed Haman. Haman is gone. But the devices is still working. You. The witch, you have prayed, the witch has died. Mm -hmm. You are now born again. But as long as his devices is inside you, the witch, that's why the Bible said, <laughs> in Matthew chapter 13, verse 24, another parable put forth saying, Eh? Uh -huh. Another parable put me forth unto them, saying, uh -huh. The kingdom of heaven is mm -hmm. likened unto a man uh -huh. which soweth good seed in his field. Uh -huh. But while men slept, uh -huh. his enemy came and so died among the wicked. Uh -huh. and went his way. Papa, did you hear that? And he be God bless you. That is the devices. Whilst men slept, whilst man is not aware. Once you were you, you were in the womb of your mother, once you are not even yet born, the devices was planted and the enemy left. And when you grow, the devices start working. Paul says something to me and you. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, 
Hear the teaching very well. Because I am a teacher. Hear it. Papa, hold on. If we don't understand, Papa, we'll be praying and be praying and be praying and we are frustrated. Because we don't know why, in spite of our prayer, we are still under attack. We don't know why, in spite of our fasting, we are still under attack. We don't know why we pay our tithe, but we are still in, po in poverty. There is a device that allows the enemy legal authorization into our life. There is a key. Devices are key. I'm going ahead of myself. Papa, are you there? Life, Papa. <laughs> Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Look at what the Bible said. Least Satan should get an advantage of us. Mm -hmm. For we are not ignorant of his device. Now, did you hear that? Least Satan, Mr. Sabadu, God bless you, Pastor Fred. Least Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. Mm -hmm. This is Apostle Paul must say to the church. The church was very powerful. The church was manifesting the gift of God. The church was fasting. The church was manifesting the power of the Holy Ghost. However, hear what Apostle Paul said. He is telling them to be alert. He is telling them to go back to their roots. He is telling them that there is something called satanic devices. That if you don't understand it, Satan has upper hand over you. So listen to me. I said to you yesterday night that there is something called satanic witchcraft devices. Number two, there is something that we have to know that ignorance to these devices give upper hand to the enemy. Number three, there is something that we have to be conscious that is these devices in me? When my mother was pregnant, where did she go? When I was sick, where did they took me? Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. You see, another thing you have to know that as long as the devices is inside you, Satan has upper hand on you. Yo. And another thing you have to know that these devices cannot fail until you do something about it. Mm -hmm. And another thing you have to do is that your strength is useless. With these devices, human strength. Because the Bible said in Job chapter 5, I think verse 12, Bible said, he, he disappointed, not you, he, he. He disappointed the devices of the craft uh -huh. so that your hands cannot perform the enemy. So you can see two people here. Number one, he, God, disappointed the devices of the crafty. Number two, somebody has programmed the devices. To do it, it comes by human hand, operated by spirits. So, Papa, the question is that what do I mean by a device? What is a device? When we talk about which kind of devices, what is it? Mm -hmm. Satanic devices, they are things that are made or adopted for a particular purpose mm -hmm. that give legal access mm -hmm. to the enemy into your life. They say, yo, it, it, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, I have this thing here. I went to Easter and I bought it. Now, if you go to Satanic Shrine and they gave this thing to you, mm -hmm. I listen to you, you put it in your house, it becomes a device. Mm -hmm. It gives the legal authority to the spirit mm -hmm. of witchcraft into your house every day. Mm -hmm. Because the book of Proverbs say, where your property is, your heart is there. Now, have you forgotten, uh, uh, Papa, Papa Lucas, go to Exodus chapter 4, verse 20 to 22. Exodus chapter 4, mm -hmm. from verse 20 to 22. And Moses took his wife mm -hmm. and his son mm -hmm. and set them upon an ass. Mm -hmm. And he returned to the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And Moses took the rod of God mm -hmm. in his hand. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Moses, mm -hmm. When thou goest to return into Egypt, mm -hmm. say that, mm -hmm. thou do all those wonders mm -hmm. before Pharaoh, mm -hmm. which I have put in thy hand. Mm -hmm. But I will have in his heart mm -hmm. that he shall not let the people go. Mm -hmm. Papa, hold on. See, now the rod 
that was in Moses' hand, become the rod of God. The rod, the rod in Moses' hand, become the rod of God. If you read verse 17, the Bible said, he said, thou shalt take this rod in whom you shall do wonders. And thou shalt take this rod in thy hand, mm -hmm. wherewith thou shalt do signs. Mm -hmm. Now, did you hear that, Papa? Evangel Joy, God bless you. The rod was in Moses' hand. Moses has held this rod for 40 years in his hand. But immediately, he became the rod of God. And based on one rod, that is the devices. I met a dear lady in Germany recently. Papa, when we were doing deliverance, this little girl was manifesting like a snake. <laughs> First day, second day, third day. And you see me, four people cannot hold this young girl. And I say, I want to see you and your husband tomorrow. The next day they came, Saturday they came early. So I sat them in the office over there. She said, ah, Papa, who, when I was coming, they gave me uh, something like a serpent skin. A serpent skin. And they mixed it with so many things and I drank it. When I came there, my, my madam put me to pay 70,000 euro. I used three years to pay it. Because any man that slept with me, Every money in your pocket, you gave it to me. But since then, every night, and the husband, the husband didn't allow the woman to finish your papa. He said, when my wife got angry here, papa, he's like a, a serpent. You. <laughs> papa, when we're praying, the, the devices enter her based on what they give to her. They gave to her at the age when she was just 17 years. Now, this girl is about 33 years now. But the device is operating. Mm -hmm. Until you understand what I'm telling you, you are not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. A device is, hear this, a device is, is like a trap. Mm -hmm. It's like a cage mm -hmm. that the enemy used to trap humanity into his covings. Mm -hmm. Shall the prey be taken away from a mighty or a lawful captive be delivered? So we didn't know that it was a trap that Satan has set for us. Yeah. And they were looking for solution. It happened to Moses. A great man called Moses. One day, a vetted came. Whoever have a male child, you will die. Mm -hmm. The children will die. Moses' mother didn't want Moses to die. He took a basket. He made it and put it there. He, he, she didn't know that where she had put Moses was a shrine of a witch doctor. Mm -hmm. Because Pharaoh's daughter was a chief custodian of the water spirit. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he put Moses there. And Moses became a ten. Moses became an eight. In Exodus chapter 2, if you read verse, verse 9 and verse 10, Moses became an eight. And Pharaoh's daughter said unto her, uh -huh. Take this child away, uh -huh. and nest it for me, mm. and I will give thee thy wages. Mm. And the woman took the child, mm. and nest it. Mm. Moses' mother didn't know that what she did, she has given her son. Moses' destiny has changed because of witchcraft manipulation. And all Moses told was water and water and water. And Moses didn't get to the promised land. A device is a trap set by the enemy to imprison human destiny. A device is a net, like a net. Are you listening to me? That a fisherman adopts to trap the fishes mm -hmm. so that when they come there, he can catch them. Mm -hmm. A device is something like a scheme. A device is something like a scheme. A device is like a manipulation machinery. Mm -hmm. My son, I'll call you, hear me. A device is, Papa, is. <laughs> is a manipulative machinery of the devil mm -hmm. 
to trap humanity so that their destiny will be wasted. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Many, many people are into this area. And that's why me and you, we are about to pray. Mm -hmm. I don't want to waste your time at all. Many people's destiny are in ruins because of these evil devices. Sister Sheila, God bless you. I don't know where they carry you to when you were sick. I don't know what they did for you where you were, you were in trouble. But the Bible gives us a clue here. Mm. Papa, look at Look at Psalm 140 verse 8. Psalm 140. Mm. <coughs> the verse 8. Mm. I read. Mm. He said, Grant not, O Lord, mm. the desires of the mm. wicked, mm. rather not his wicked device. Mm. He's the assault himself. Papa, did you hear that? Grant not, O Lord, the, des the desire of the wicked, further not his wicked devices. Pastor Vivian, God bless you. The devices. A dear lady from Tanzania came to our church. And Papa was praying for this young girl. And the Lord spoke to me that she have an altar. If that altar is not destroyed, she will die. Papa, they brought her on a stretcher into our church. And I said, I get her courage. And I said, sister, the Lord spoke to me that you have an altar. She said, it's in my bag. She brought it, a big talisman like this, patch. In, in a pig skin or goat skin mm -hmm. and they have sold it. Mm -hmm. Now, why would you bring a talisman to the church? She said, the witch doctor said, whatever I go, I should carry it. Mm -hmm. I said, this is what is killing you. We pour oil, we bring the spell behind it and Papa, we destroy it. Nobody pray for the girl. The girl stood up, start walking. The devices in her was the one that was killing her. Grant not, O oh Lord, the desire of the wicked. Because the desire of the wicked is to destroy you. The desire of the wicked is to make sure your marriage died. The desire of the wicked is to make sure that sickness is in your body. The desire of the wicked is to make sure that your children don't live. The desire of the wicked is to make sure that your life is in tatters. If a Bible student, you notice that in the book of us, there was a young girl, Bible said, she developed these devices. If you read chapter 16 from verse 19, go in, Papa. There was a young girl. And when her masters saw that hmm? the hope of their gains was not, uh -huh. they called Paul and Sila. Uh -huh. They drew them into the marketplace. Uh -huh. into the uh -huh. And brought them to the magistrate, saying, mm -hmm. This man being Jews mm -hmm. do exceedingly trouble our city. Papa, did, hold on, hold on. If we, let's read from the verse 16. If we read verse 16, we understand where, where I'm coming. And it came to pass as we went to prayer, mm -hmm. a certain damsel possessed with a spirit mm -hmm. of divination met us, mm -hmm. which brought the masters much gain mm -hmm. by so saying, mm -hmm. verse 17. Mm -hmm. The same followed Paul. Mm. And Christ saying, These men are the servants of the most high God, mm. which show unto us the way of salvation. Uh -huh. And this did she many days. Mm. But Paul, being grieved, mm. came and said to the Spirit, uh -huh. I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. Uh -huh. And he came out of Papa, the hold on. same hour. Papa, hold on. You will notice that because of these devices, this girl was bewitching many people to get money. And many people too didn't know. They think that it was God. Do you know in Acts chapter 8, from verse 8 to 11, there was another man that was using devices to bewitch an entire city. Acts chapter 8 from verse 11. From verse 8. I read. Mm. He said, And there was great joy in that city. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. Mm -hmm. But there was a certain man called Simeon, mm -hmm. which 
four times in the same city, mm. he used us to, mm. and bewitch the people of Samaria, mm. even out that himself was some great one. Yes. To whom they all gave peace. Yes. From the least to the greatest, saying, Yes. This man is the great power of God. Yes. Verse 11. And to him they had regard because that of long time he had bewitched them with sorcery. Papa, did you hear that? He has used witchcraft devices to bewitch them. I want you to notice oh, that this girl was saying a good thing about apostle. But the girl was using divination, satanic tricks, satanic manipulation to bewitch them. And this is God bless you. Who gave you that water to drink? Who gave you that talisman in your pocket? A young businessman, Antisal is on the line, when we're in hybrid, they called the man uh, uh, Joe Mansa. Papa, Joe Mansa was doing very well. And he said, somebody manipulated him in London to go and change Ghana money, the old money, 13 cities. And the man made incantation on it. And the man said, go and throw it to River Thames. Which the man did it. The moment the man threw that money to River Thames, the man lost his business, lost everything, and the man died. In London, Though the man was born again, but he suffered again. Why? Satanic devices give authorization to demons into your room. Don't you know your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? In 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16, the Bible said something very powerful. Are we? Yes. 2 Corinthians 6, 16. Yes. In what agreement had the temple of God with idols? Uh -huh. For ye are the temple of the living God. Uh -huh. As God has said, I will dwell in them uh -huh. and walk in them. Uh -huh. and I will be their God. Papa, hold on. I, be, my people. I will dwell in them. I will walk in them. I will be their God and they will be my people. What can make a spirit walk inside you? It's a devices. When Jesus was going in Matthew chapter 26, verse 26 and 27, Bible said, he blessed a common drink and gave it to them. He said, drink it. This is my blood. If you drink this, my spirit will come and live in you. That's what we call the indwelling of a spirit. How does somebody become a witch? How does somebody become a wizard? The person go to witch doctor shrine and they fortify themselves and they empower themselves and they became. You come, you sleep and one being. How can the person do that? Something enter them. It's all devices. It's all devices. Now, we have different kinds of devices. Number one, we have devices that cause mischief. If you read the book of Psalm 21, Papa, look at verse 11. I read mm. Psalm 21, verse 11. Mm. He said, mm. For they intended evil against me. Mm. They imagine a mischievous device. Did you hear that? They are not able to perform. They imagine mischievous device. They imagine mischievous device. They imagine mischievous device. Mischievous. Bonny. <laughs> High level of devices. You see, things are moving in your body. This early morning, a lady called me. I was taking my wife to the station. And the lady called me. Ah, who is calling me this time? Early morning, don't you sleep? Papa, Papa, I, I couldn't sleep. I'm hearing noises. Things are moving in my body. What is making that thing to move in your body? I parked my car outside. My car key is sitting here. Papa, if you see somebody driving my car, either the person has stolen the key or I gave the key to the person. Otherwise, nobody can drive my car. If you don't give God authorized authorization into your body, God cannot walk in your body. We just read it. I walk in their body. What makes God to walk in our body is when we partake in the communion. Mm -hmm. If you if you are not married and somebody forces you to rape you, uh, to sleep with you, they call it rape. 
police will arrest you. Uh -huh. If police is arresting every man that sleeps with a woman, everybody must be arrested. Uh -huh. Because so far as you have co covenant and you are married sincerely, faithfully, and you are living in the house, police don't have nothing to do with you. Because God created it. But when it comes by force, that's what we call rape. Number two, we have what we call evil devices. Papa, look at Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 12. I mean, Jeremiah hmm? chapter 18, verse 12. Yes. Said, and they said, hmm? there is no hope that we will walk after our own devices. Hmm? Did you hear that? Evil devices. When these devices come into your body, it brings evil. Boni, monsieur, a sign. You see sickness that defy medical therapy. You see a woman going through menstruation for 12 years. The menstruation is not cutting. You see a young man, they say you have low sperm count. You see a great destiny. They say the woman is mental, have mental problem. A young girl came to our church. They said the girl have mental problem. And we continue to pray. And now the girl is getting better. So yesterday I gave the girl paper that the preacher that was preaching. Everywhere the girl will, will uh, the, the preacher will preach. Write it for me, Papa. If you see how the girl writes the thing, you will cry. Such a clever destiny. But the doctors want to sanction the girl to a mental home. In fact, she was telling me that the police is coming to arrest her by force to a mental home. So I asked Pastor Bola to go to the doctor to convince the doctors that the girl is in our hands. The girl is well. Let, let them give us a chance. Let's continue to pray. And I will, I will advise the girl to continue to take her medication. What is making this beautiful, wonderful, glorious daughter of Zion to go through mental problem? What did the mother do? What did the fathers do? Why is this girl born in London suffering mental problem? Is it normal? Because an evil device cause evil. Hallelujah. Amen. There is another one, Papa. We call it wicked devices. Mm -hmm. Devices that bring wickedness. Mm. Look at Esther chapter 9 verse 25. I read mm. Esther chapter 9 verse 25. Mm -hmm. He said, But when Esther came before the king, mm -hmm. he commanded by letters that mm -hmm. his wicked device, which he devised against the Jews, mm -hmm. should return upon his own head. Uh -huh. And that, Papa, did you hear that? Wicked devices. <laughs> Somebody can go and make incantation on a clothes and they'll bring it to you and begin to cause evil into your body. Once upon a time, there was a radio in London here called Afric Radio. And I had the privilege to go and preach. I used to do all night on that radio. And I, as I was doing all night, this is 2005 or 2006. No, 2006. Somebody called me, but it was around, it was Saturday. No, no, this is Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday. Sunday mid-morning, around 2 a.m. The man called me crying. Papa, my wife is dying in hospital. We just have a wedding. I said, ah, Holy Ghost said, go and pray for the, 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 the young man. I called her, where, I, where is your wife? He said, my wife is in uh, North Medicine Hospital. From where brought other farm to North Medicine Hospital? If you drive, it's about 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Depending on the traffic. I drove there, Papa. I put the music on the thing and I drove there. I saw the girl sitting there. The girl lying on the bed with so many gadgets. I said, what's happened, Papa? I married. We, we just did a wedding. And from the wedding, the girl became unusual hot. Her temperature went up. And they brought ash. As I was going to pray, Holy Ghost said, don't pray. Tell the young boy to go and open all the parcels. When I tell the guy, where do you live? He said, we live in Border Town Farm. I said, let's go. And God said, we should go and open the parcels. Papa, 
We went there. We started opening the parcel. The boy didn't want it, but I forced her. As we are opening the parcel, we saw a charcoal. You know a charcoal, BDA? Mm -hmm. With a stone. In, in Ghana, they call it Bonsambo. A stone. Mm -hmm. And a kuyaba, a doll. And they are parceling it nicely and brought it to a girl. And the moment we open it, God said, this is what it is there. Papa, we break the spell behind it. Immediately. By the time we drove all the way to the hospital, the girl was sitting there talking. The wicked devices translated sickness into the girl. Before we pray, I want to I want to, I want to stop here and we'll continue next week, Papa. Now, and before we pray, how can how can these devices enter into a person's life? How can these devices enter into a person's life? Number one, a device can enter into a person's life through your dream. Also, for my God bless you. A device can enter into a person's life through your dreams. People dream and they see themselves eating. People dream they see themselves having sex in the dream. People dream they see themselves going through all sorts of evil. Uh, one of my sons, I don't want to mention the name, had a wonderful wife. Papa, I met the wife in, in, in Accra. And I went there, this tall, beautiful wife was dying. What is happening here? She said, I dreamt and somebody gave me injection. And the doctor said, I have HIV. <laughs> what is that HIV for? In the dream, somebody came and injected her. And the, the, the wonderful child have HIV. And die with HIV in the dream. A dog bites a woman in the dream and the leg is rotten. Uh -huh. I have the pictures in my phone here. I can show you here. A snake bites a young beautiful girl. If you uh -huh. see, Papa, if you see this girl face and you see what is happening to the leg, you will cry. Uh -huh. A snake bites this girl on the leg. Papa, uh -huh. eh? Uh, look, look, look at the leg. A snake bites a young girl on the leg. In the dream, not physical. And the, and the leg is rotten. You can see where the snake bites. Those of you on Facebook, YouTube, you can see it. This is all demonic, evil devices. It can happen in the dream. So as I'm praying, what dream did you have? Maybe you have had a dream, you don't understand it. I want you to send, don't call now. Because Papa, we're using the phone. I want you to send me your, your, your text message, what dream you have had so that I can pray for you. Are you. Have you had injection in the dream before? Have you eaten in the dream before? Have you had sex in the dream before? Have you had attack in the dream before? Job said, when I said my bed will comfort me, in Job chapter 4, if you read from verse 12, 13 and 14. Okay. Uh -huh. Now a thing was secretly brought to me. Uh -huh. And my ear received a little thereof in thoughts from the vision of the night. Uh -huh. When this thing followed on me, uh -huh. fear came upon me uh -huh. and which made all my bones to shake. Uh -huh. Then my spirit passed before my face. Uh -huh. And the hair of my flesh stood up. So the question is that, Papa, when Job was sleeping, what came on her? Who came on Job? Who came? Who came? Who passed this dream and came there? If we, if you don't understand this, we think that we are joking. All Job atrocity came through the dream world. <laughs> Number two, one of the area these devices enter our body is through when we were looking for solutions. This, <laughs> I know a young girl, she said, Papa, she went to a church and they gave her an oil uh -huh. and she drank it. And she didn't know the color of the oil. The lady just came as for the divine. And things are moving in her body from her, from her to What is this oil? Uh -huh. Why did you drink that oil? 
It's not about the oil. It's who gave you the oil. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. It's not, there's nothing wrong with the oil. But it's coming from a person who carry a divinated spirit, a spirit of witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Have you forgotten, Papa, we just read it. In Acts 16, verse 16 to 18, that a young girl who was using the spirit of divination, Telling them that these men were men of God. Mm -hmm. if, Papa, if, if I see you and I say, Papa, who is a man of God? Have I said something wrong? Mm -hmm. But Paul said, the woman was carrying spirit of divination. If, if it is my time, I say, oh, oh, Paul. But this girl said, the spirit, you are, you are the man of God. Everybody should follow you. Mm -hmm. the, the, the satanic devices. Mm -hmm. Where we went seeking for solution. Where, where Papa would just read in the book of Exodus, Moses' mother was looking for solution and carried Moses into the water. And Moses' destiny became a tin. And Moses couldn't fulfill destiny. And Moses died. Mm -hmm. So where did they carry you when you were a little boy? Where did you go looking for solution? Last Was it, Papa, was it last two years I was driving? And you were, you were, we were talking on the phone. A dear lady called. She said her daughter was in a mental home. I said, what happened to the girl? What happened? Where did you carry your daughter to? She said they insert something into a private part before she delivered the baby. Solution. Solution that we are looking for. What they gave to us is satanic devices that has been implemented to give the enemy legal authorization into our body. Send me your text message quickly. I want to pray for you. Maybe you went somewhere seeking for solution. I was in, in Germany. Papa was there with me. A young lady, all the hair is gone. Because she said, they sent her a wig from somewhere. That's a devices. Another young lady said, they put incense. And the, the, the incense had to open, enter her private part. That is a devices. So when you see a born again, who is suffering again, don't just quit to pray for her. Sit her down and ask her questions. Why are you going through what you are going In spite of your prayer, in spite of your warfare, and you are still going through attack. There's something, that's why Job said, Job chapter 8, Papa, look at Job chapter 8, verse 8. I read, mm. Job chapter 8, verse 8, he said, mm. for inquire I pray thee, mm. the former issue, mm. and prepare thyself to the search of thy family. <laughs> And prepare thyself to the search of your fathers. For we are only born of yesterday. Until you understand this mystery, you go, you will go through the miseries. Are you thinking? A devices, a devices. Number three, how can these devices enter, enter a person? It can enter a person through satanic agents. Satanic agents. A witch doctor. A herbalist. See, don't get me wrong. If you know medicine through the leaves and you are using it, it's fine. I remember when we were in a front place, but when we are sick, there's a leaf called nunum. We go and pick nunum and we cook it, we boil it, we put the ankachadia. What's ankachadia brofu? The lemon. We add lemon to it and we drink it and then we are healed. God created it. But when the same leaf are given to you by a witch doctor, it's a device, it's an evil device. So this is what we are talking. If the same water we are drinking, if it is given to you, do you know Jesus said, woman, if you know the man talking to you, you ask him to give you a living water. Uh -huh. So there's a water, there's a water, there's a water. Uh -huh. The water coming from the throne of God and the water coming from the throne of Satan and ordinary water we are drinking to quench test. So, <laughs> The, 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 the celestial priest, the Aladura priest, the mm -hmm. witch doctor, who gave you the incision, who killed the chicken, who blessed you, who dedicated you, you don't know that mm -hmm. it's a device they are giving unto you. A young girl called me yesterday when, no, a Saturday, when I was coming to church to pray. And she said, Papa, I've listened to your message. And thank God for your message. I said, thank you. When I hear things like that, I love it. Because it encouraged me to do what I'm doing. 
He said, Papa, when I was a child, about 15 years, I remember my mother took me to a witch doctor and they gave me a ring and I put it in my hand. Is, is it why I can't marry? I am 54 years, never married before. Every time I see myself having sex in a dream, I say, that is the seed. I'm praying for somebody. Any devices that are deprived you from marrying, it is mm. broken in the name of Jesus. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Another area, we call it parental devices. Mm -hmm. Where your parents did before they marry you, they, they, before they marry, before they have you. Your mother was looking for long life. Your mother was looking to protect her marriage and sold your marriage. I met a lady in Ghana. She said, the mother have 16 children with one man, though they have two twins inside it. But none of the children are married. Why? Why mommy marry one man, never divorce one man, and have they have 16 children? None of them die because not knowing the mother raised an altar and said, Let this altar help me protect my children. Not knowing the altar that was helping the woman has married all the children. That is the devices. The devices of the crafty. Are you listening to me? I met a man in the U.S. whose grandfather brought devices, ritual for money, that I will be rich, but let my children never be rich. The devices, parental devices. Then we have ancestral devices. What your ancestors did. When God and Abraham was talking, Isaac was not yet born. Are you listening to me? But the devices that they made, they suffered. Ancestral devices. Then we have foundational devices. Then we have tribal devices. My time is up. That's why I'm, I'm rushing. Then we have the tribe. The tribe you come from. I want to end here. Hallelujah. Now, what are the effects of these devices? What has it affected us? When I'm in, you see, where Papa read, we call it the wicked devices. Papa, they call it the devices of the wicked devices of Haman. Mm -hmm. As long as that devices was there, the children of Israel, they were dying. Mm -hmm. Esther chapter 9 verse 25. Esther, but Esther came before the king. He commanded the letters that the wicked devices, which had been devices against the Jewish, should be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Because as long as the devices are there, it's not good. So when you see premature death, it's wicked devices. It's already inside you. Mm -hmm. When you see evil attacks, sudden attacks, why that accident must be me? Why that thing? See, sit down and ask yourself. Do investigation. Why must it be me? Why couldn't it go to otherwise? Why must it be me? There's a device. There's something in you that attracts rejection. Whenever you begin to see rejection, there's something that makes it happen. When a person begins to go through divorce, there's something that makes it happen. Are you listening to me? When a person continues to be afflicted, you are hearing voices, you are seeing things others are not seeing. Demonic attacks, dream attacks, witchcraft attacks, evil attacks. You know that there's a device there that must be broken. Whenever money don't meet money in your hands, poverty, there's a device there. You are working so hard, but everything you touch died. Everything you touch died. Please know that there's a device there. It's not about you're a lazy person. You work home when you're quite four, when you're a juma. But nothing happened. <laughs> Sickness that defy medical therapy. <laughs> Evil diseases. Are you listening to me? Abnormal delays. I, 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 next week we'll continue, Papa. We have different kinds of devices. We have so many kinds. We have physical devices. 
that the amulet you put on your hand, it was physical. Mm -hmm. it, it was physical. The amulet, the charms, <laughs> the concussion you drank, it is physical. Then we have the dream devices. Mm -hmm. Then we have the blind line devices. The mm -hmm. one that is rolling through the blind line. Then we have the spiritual devices. Then we have the covenant devices. Mm -hmm. Then we have the dedication devices. Mm -hmm. We have so many kinds of devices. Mm -hmm. How can I be free from these evil devices? Mm -hmm. Number one, you have to be born again. It's not, it's not negotiable. Number two, you must find a man of God who understand what you are going through. It's not all pastors that understand what you are going through. God give grace. The same person Apostle Jones has prayed and prayed and prayed. The healing is not going. The person can sit in Benin conference. Benin will be wearing not even black coat, not even white coat, black coat to Papa. Singing hallelujah, hallelujah. You see the person is gone. The sickness disappear because God gave graces to the people. In medical school, they have somebody that has been 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 that has studied only gynecology. Mm -hmm. There are somebody that has studied bones. There are somebody that has studied brain, brain surgeon. Mm -hmm. There are somebody that has studied the teeth. There are somebody that, that has studied dermatology, the skin diseases. There are somebody that has studied only the hair. Mm -hmm. So also the gospel it is. Bible said God gave gifts. When you came and Bishop Tuburi is preaching deliverance, when you came and Jones is preaching deliverance, we don't struggle. That is our grace. Mm -hmm. When you go, my Bunok is preaching wisdom, Papa. That is his grace. Mm -hmm. When you go and, and, and you see Mass Moreau preaching kingdom, that is his grace. Mm -hmm. When you go and this man, um, Rehan Bonki, is preaching evangelism, that is his grace. Mm -hmm. So, Find a man of God that understands what you are going through and stick to that person. Get the teaching. Follow the teachings. Follow the man of God. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Number three, do prophetic actions. Learn about prophetic tools. Learn about prophetic action. Because sometimes some they ask you to go and bury a coin. It's not about physical prayer. It's about prophetic action. Sometimes they ask you to take a coin to the water, throw it to the river. Jeremiah 22, 29 said, Oh, F, 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 hear the word of the Lord. In, 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 in Job, Papa, look at Job chapter 12, verse 8. I read. Hmm. He said, Or oh, speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee. Papa, did he hear that? The, 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 the earth has power to teach us. Are you listening to me? Find an altar and pour your sacrifice on it and overturn the situation. I want to leave it and pray with you. Many people have, have sent their text messages for me to pray for them. But my number is 07950. All of you on Hot Online Digital. I am not preaching from Hot Studio today. I mean, our studio in Deliverance Outreach Ministry here in London. You are listening to me. So if I finish and you want to call me, my number is zero seven nine five zero seven zero one eight five three zero seven nine five zero seven zero one eight five three that is my number papa Mo, is there something you want to say and then give your number please papa, yes sir uh, mm. Yes. Where they cook all kinds of foods. Mm -hmm. Where we drink all kinds of drinks. Mm -hmm. Where we greet all kinds of people. Mm -hmm. Where we sit on all kinds of seats. Mm -hmm. So no wonder that at the end of the day, after burial, you come and then your marriage is turbulent. Mm -hmm. Or you lose your job. Or you get some sickness. Mm -hmm. So people have to take this teaching mm -hmm. very clear. Yeah. They have to go by it again. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Amen. Papa, please give your number to. To us, please. My number is 
0049 Repeat it. Yes. 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 Two four zero. May God bless you all. My time is up. It remains only eight minutes. We are our next conference is the prophetic conference. We are starting on 19th of July to 24th. And all the partners, myself and Papa, we are having a partner conference all over the partners in America. It's a Zoom conference. It's a Zoom conference which we are starting in June. Uh, don't worry, I would I will tell you more about about the, the, the thing in from pray before we sleep and then we 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 going to pray so please my number again is zero seven nine five zero seven zero one eight five three zero seven nine five zero seven zero one eight five three may the lord bless you may the lord empower you may the lord grant you grace may your heavens open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth wherever you are god richly bless you god cover you god help you god build you i cover you any satanic devices against you it is destroyed forever in the mighty mighty name of jesus christ all of you listen to me from hot online digital the grace of god cover you the anointing of god cover you the hand of the lord cover you the power of god grace cover you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth <clears throat> it is well with you don't forget that from here i'm going to the national tv uh, faith tv live from eight o'clock to nine o'clock landing time and we are coming back on faith on on the uh, on zoom uh, no on facebook and youtube again from eight o'clock london time god bless you until next thing god bless you sister ivy god bless you pastor vivian god bless you all of you on facebook youtube god bless you it's six o'clock london time let me leave you go and have something to eat and enjoy life in jesus mighty name every satanic devices is condemned from your body May the Lord bless you. Amen. Papa, pray for us before you go. Thank you for tuning in to the Hour of Deliverance broadcast with Dr. Jones Dottabuatang. We hope you have been blessed. Do join us at Deliverance Outreach Ministries every Wednesday, Friday from 5.30 p.m. and Sundays from 10.30 a.m. for a time of ministration, teaching, counseling, prayer, and deliverance. Be there and experience divine visitation, total healing through the power of prayer and the spoken word your life will never be the same again